Hey everything's everybody, welcome back to another episode of Serious Heroes Avengers in Modded Minecraft 1.8.9. How are you guys doing? Alright, today I have to do something. Something important, I think. A decision I have to make. So, if you look at our map, right, um, I'm actually not too happy with how our world is. Also, can I turn off, like, these animal things here? I don't like those mob headings. I don't like to see those arrows. Yeah, I'm not too happy with the map, to be honest. I like the forest a lot, the rainforest, especially this little temple we have. But then the other biomes we have here, okay, we have the desert, which is kind of cool. Uh, then we have this dark forest. I guess that's sort of cool, but then after that, nothing interesting. We have this really ugly biome here that I don't like. I forgot what that is, bamboo grove. We have the swampy area here. And I've been checking in, like, you know, the first time when I was testing out the world, there is a lot of these, like, swampy areas around our place. And then, of course, we have this crazy chunk border here because uh, one of the updates for, for Biomes of Plenty kind of changed something, how the biomes generate. So we have a pretty bad gap here between those biomes. So I'm not super happy with this, to be honest. I'm, I keep playing here and feel like, ah, oh, I don't really enjoy it that much. <laughs> and uh, so <sighs> we know it's modded. Minecraft, we know it's still early on. Lots of these mods are still in alpha, so there are, uh, you know, problems um, to be expected, I guess. So, I think what I kind of want to do, I kind of decided, is uh, I'm going to start a new world. Now, before you <laughs> freak out and go like, what? We just restarted. We just had another restart and started from the beginning and went through all the basics again. Fear not, my friend. Fear not. I have this door, and you might wonder, what's so special about this door? Well, this door is not just a normal door, okay? You know, if you open it like this, from this side, nothing special. This is actually a door into a parallel world, believe it or not. You don't believe me, do you? So I actually got this door from a place I want to settle at, from a new world that I like a lot, the biomes I like a lot, the, the terrain I like a lot. And going through this door actually will bring me there. So let's not hesitate and just go through this door and here we are. Yeah. Doesn't look too different, does it? Well, of course not. Oh, unfortunately we don't have this underground, it seems. But yeah, this is our base, as we know it. All of our stuff is here, no problem. But we are indeed in a different world, look at that. Ah, isn't that amazing? What a great door this is. Yeah, so this is the new area we are in. The new biome. Of course, it's a rainforest. Uh, this is actually not too dirty, even though it looks pretty dirty. <laughs> but this is more like... Uh, yeah, it looks okay. We have a forest here again. Oh, sorry, a desert. We have some nice forest all over there. It's really nice. And a lot more water in here too, which is cool. And a lot of mountains as well. Um, there's some hills up there. I could kind of show you around for a little bit. I don't want to waste too much time. Ooh, slime woods. We also have this natural bridge here to our base, which is really cool. Where's my grappling hook? There it is. Yeah, so really we didn't lose anything. All we did is just gain stuff, you know? A better world. We still have all of our stuff. This sheep is even better. It looks fluffier than the other sheep in our other world. So yeah, it's all good, right? <laughs> all right, let's check out this place where we might want to build eventually. I like this a lot. Um, so we have a lot of these, like, gigantic towers and stuff, or I shouldn't say towers, but like, you know what I mean, like, whoop, can we make this? Yeah, we can. All of these uh, mountains that are really cool. And it's really difficult to show you by like just walking around here, cause you know, in creative mode it would be a little bit easier, but ooh, we can make this here, right? Yeah, can we go all the way up there? That would be cool. Oh man, look at how high we are. But yeah, there's more mountains over here. We have this cool big lake that we had in the 1.8 version as well, kind of, sort of, a little bit bigger. <laughs> but yeah, lots of uh, lots of these mountains, and um, it's hard to see from here, but th those are like three pillars, sort of, and I kind of want to build, kind of connect them with like bridges and stuff. Ooh, careful. Oh man, I kind of want to jump down here. Yeah, let's just, just go, woohoo! <laughs> oh god. Man, these slime boots are the best thing ever. They're amazing. Yeah, you can kind of see we have this one, there's one there, there's one here, and it also connects over to like a little bit of this stuff. And yeah, eventually I would like to connect this all with some bridges and such. Oh, skeletons, let's go out of here. Yeah, we're invincible. So yeah, 
All right, but better let's get rid of this door before some evil stuff comes through here. We don't want to, want to that want that to happen, right? We don't want anything from the old world to gather back, uh, come back here into our world. So let's just put this door safely into our storage system to make sure nothing will happen. Okay, so last episode, uh, I think I mentioned a little bit that I want to work on a bit of Botania, right? And I went outside to get some Botania flowers and we tried to bone meal the ground to see if you can get some flowers well that didn't work but you can see i actually got some botania flowers and i'll show you how i did that uh one of you guys i think it all was wild rascal i think probably um he he mentioned that there is a special uh a special type of fertilizer to use on uh, uh from botania that will actually spawn these flowers and i think it's called Oh, it's somewhere. I guess I could just look for fertilizer, right? Yeah, there it is. The floral fertilizer. So it needs um, any type of like uh, powder that you can get from Botania flowers. Or if you don't have any, you can use a yellow flower or red flower. Uh, or and a red flower and some bone meal to make it. I don't think I have anything left right now. So uh, actually, do I have red them? No, I don't have them left. That's a fine. Uh, but yeah, they, they will... Um, they will actually grow these normal botania flowers, so that's kind of cool. I don't have all the colors yet, and I don't know if this world has more botania flowers in it. I actually have not looked around yet to see if I can find some, but uh, we can just use a fertilizer and get some more. Is that? No, it's agriculture, I think. So what we could do now, actually, so once you get a flower, um, basically what you can do is... Let's say, you know, we only have like one of this light gray flower. If you put this down, so normally this gives you two petals, right? But if you put this down and then you use normal bone meal on this, it becomes like a tall mystical flower. So these tall ones you can only pick up with a shear, which I should have actually in my backpack. Yep, there it is. So if we break this, we get the tall one, tall mystical uh, flower. And this one actually gives you four gray petals. Now, if you take a paddle, uh, we can put it on the ground and you can kind of see the sparkly stuff in the bottom right corner. You can also see it says buried light gray paddle. If you plant some of these here, all four of them, and then use bone power, powder on those, we get another tall one again. So this is how you can multiply your flowers. The only downside is you don't get these smaller versions anymore. And I think for some, uh, maybe not. I thought for some, Recipes, yeah, for the glimmering flowers, maybe you need them. I don't know if you can use the tall one for the glimmering stuff. No, you can't. And yeah, so I don't know if you can, like, yeah, I don't think you can make them otherwise. Um, there's a flower in Botania that produces more of the normal Botania flower, so eventually you can get that, but yeah. So that's kind of how I've been uh, doing this here, and you know, I was using a fertilizer until I got some colors I needed. And then I break it, get some petals out of it, four, and I just place them again, and get more. And then I can just repeat this process. So basically, as long as I make sure I always have like one color left of each flower, I can just uh, keep making more. So it should be okay. Um, so let's just start a little bit in Botana. Yeah, I want to get some things done. I actually started playing with my bro brother on like a you know on like a server with this mod pack and also kind of went into Botania a little bit and yeah, it's a lot of fun. Okay, so the first thing we actually have to make to get started is this pedal apothecary. Uh, it should be very simple to make. This is kind of like your first crafting item. So it just needs a little bit of cobblestone slabs and a pedal. All right, let's just put this down here. We're gonna need like a infinite water spring here just so we can refill this thing because it does need water. And you need to refill this quite often. So let's grab another white one, because I did use a white one to make this. Probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, the next thing we basically need is something to create mana and something to hold mana. So Botania, what it does is it, it uses flowers and, yeah, just mostly flowers to produce mana. And then with that mana, you do certain things in this mod. So to store mana, we need this mana, tab, uh, mana pool, which we need living rock for. And we get living rock by putting stone around a pure daisy here. So let's look at the flower here. Actually, I think it's on this page. Yep, pure daisy. So we need to dump, let's see, uh, four white mystical paddles into this apothecary, uh, and then it will give us a pure daisy. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm actually gonna make, uh, gonna grab another one because I wanna make two of them. So we just dump them in. You can either right click, I think, 
Uh, I thought you could. Oops. I guess not. Well, you just dumped them in there. Need to turn off my magnet, though. Otherwise, this won't work. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. You see them in there, and it also shows you the recipe, what it does. And now you see there's like this check mark, and below there's a seed icon. So, always to complete a crafting in this, you have to toss in a seed at the end. And there we go. There's our little pure daisy now. And another one. Cool. So, we have two of these. So, we just take our stone here. And we surround this uh, pure daisy with stone. Has to be smooth stone. And you can see these particles emitting now. That means it's doing the work. And I'm also gonna get some wood so we can get living wood. And there we go, it just turned into living rock. So it doesn't take too long, just a couple of seconds, I think. So we can just pick this up here and just place more around. I think our living wood should be ready pretty soon too. Oh yeah, there it goes, cool. Oh, a little bit of lag. Awesome. And my achievements got reset, of course. Okay, let's break, let me break this and get some other stuff. All right, so now that we have some of this wood, we oh, living rock, I mean, we can go ahead and make our mana pool. Very cool. We just put it, yeah, let's put it over here for now. So now we need something to generate mana and something to dump the mana into here. Uh, you can kind of think about it as like a battery or something, you know, but just for mana. So to, um, to get stuff into there, we need to make a mana spreader. A mana spreader will take mana from mana generating flowers and just uh, shoots it over into into the uh, the mana pool or other devices later on too. There's no texture for this yet for some reason. So let's just put this. I think if I put it like this, yeah, I didn't want it to point up. Depending on how you place it, like changes direction. You can change this too eventually. But yeah, so you can see this thing at the front. That's the the front, and it points at the mana pool. We can also go ahead and take some of this mana uh, living wood and make these living wood twigs. And then we just put them like a diagonal thing. And then any type of um, pe uh, petal, you can use any colors and any combination. And it also changes the icon. And you can get a wand of the forest. And now when you hold this, you see a lot more information. So we can see this beam here that shows uh, where the mana pool is pointing at and how far it can shoot. If I hover over this mana pool, it can show you how much mana it has. Right now it's nothing, same over here, nothing. And then if you would hold shift and right click, you can like redirect that mana pool. See, now it's pointing at this. So yeah, pretty cool. And then also when you hover over this, you can see the mana pool is highlighted. That means it is connected to that, to that thing. All right, the first flower we need to produce or make to produce mana is the day bloom. It's the cheapest one, I would say, and it only needs, what does it need? Two yellow, one orange, and one light blue paddle. Um, and it does generate mana just by sitting in daylight. The only downside is that eventually it will actually die out and we have to make new ones. And it doesn't produce a hell lot of mana, unfortunately. All right, there we go. Made a bunch of uh, day blooms. We have eight now. It's not a ton, but it should give us a good start. Um, so we just place them here. So there's a thing here. I'm not 100% sure of because I looked at this book and it doesn't mention anything about this. Um, in 1.7, you had to place these guys in like a checkerboard uh, pattern like this. Otherwise, they would like produce less mana. Um, the book was mentioning that and it was also showing a picture of that. It doesn't seem to do that anymore. And I couldn't read anything about this, like saying that it has to be placed like this. So I'm guessing we don't have to do that anymore. So I'm just going to put them in between. And also again, if you hold with the wand over the flower, uh, you can see which mana spreader it is connected to. If you place the flower before the mana spreader, they won't connect to this. So what you would have to do is similar to how we connected this. You shift right click a flower and then shift right click the mana spreader to like reconnect them. And now you can see we're getting some mana. Very little. This pool can hold a ton of mana, but yeah, these flowers don't produce a ton. If you really wanted, you could also make the nightshade here, which works at nighttime. Uh, but really, if it's night, we can just go sleep and it should be all good again. All right, now that we have a little bit of mana, to speed things up, I want to make the end of flame. And the reason why we needed the mana is to make an end of flame, which is this coal uh, to generate mana. It needs this mana powder, and you only get this by dumping any kind of like dust, like redstone sugar, even these color dusts from, from the paddles, into the mana pool. You can see it needs a little bit of mana there, and it will give you mana powder. So we need that in our recipe to make these end of flames. 
And if you hold like a dust and you can turn it into something, the mana pool actually shows you if it has enough mana in there. You can see the check mark. So if I dump it in there, eventually you saw the red X shows up now. That means not enough mana. All right, got four end of flames. So that's pretty cool. That should last a little while. So we can actually just put them like, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe two on each side like this. And again, because the mana spreader was already there, they should be linked up. Yep, they're all connected. Very cool. So what we can just do is take these four coal blocks. You can either use like, you know, normal coal uh, or charcoal or coal blocks and anything else that can be used in a furnace other than like a lava bucket. Uh, bucket. Anything that produces a side product, like an empty bucket when you would use it, wouldn't work. So, but stuff like this should work. Uh, probably like coal, coal might work too. Stuff like that, we'll see. You can see now all these four flowers picked up one block each and they have these flames now. When they have the flames, they can't take up more. So I could even toss like wood down because wood is a burnable resource. If I would do that right now because they already have uh, something inside, uh, they won't pick it up. But as soon as they're like done with their mana production, they can pay, uh, pick up more charcoal again. Okay, I think what I kind of want to do is even though we have like iron armor and stuff, um, I want to make the armor you can get in Botania, the first one, the mana steel armor. Uh, I think it's the mana steel equipment, so we could make uh, tools out of it too. Tools like pickaxe, shovel, axe, shear, sword, and then this armor here. Um, the reason why I want to make this is it's equal to uh, iron level, but it's very easy to enchant it. And it gives you the special bonus if you wear all four pieces where you use less mana in your, from your tools. Another cool thing is like, uh, instead of using durability if you get hit, as long as you have something called a mana tablet, which is kind of like a battery in your inventory here that stores mana, if you use this mana tablet, uh, instead of getting durability and breaking down, it uses mana from the tablet to absorb the damage. So that's really cool. And even if they are broken a little bit, as soon as you have this mana tablet again with some mana inside, it like slowly recharges and repairs itself. And then later we can use this to upgrade it to a better armor as well. But yeah, to make this we need uh, a bunch of this mana steel, so 24 mana steel just to make the the uh, the armor set. And of course, mana steel you get by just dumping in a piece of iron into the mana pool. But it does take a little bit of mana, so um, it will probably take some time to do this. So I would just drop this here. See, we got, how much did we get? 10 out of it for now. So still going to wait a little bit way to go here. So I'm just going to do this off camera a little bit. All right, that's the last piece. So we can now make our full set of mana steel armor. Very cool. So let's take out this stuff and put on this. Look how fancy we look now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like some weird aqua warriors or something. I don't know. But yeah, this is pretty neat. Uh, so in there, like I said, we do need the mana tablet sort of to, um, you know, to not destroy our tools. So let's look at this again. I think it needs a mana diamond. Where is it? Mana, there we go. Mana tablet, yeah, it needs a mana diamond or mana pearl. Uh, mana pearl is an ender pearl in the mana pool and a mana diamond is, well, a diamond in the mana pool. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna have to wait a little bit and just let this turn into a mana diamond and I'll be right back. All right, I do have enough now. I have the mana diamond here and we just surround it with some living rock and we get the mana tablet. And right now you can see it's empty. You can actually see a bar above the tool tip. And also, if it's full, you will see some mana at uh, on top of our like experience points bar. It's like a blue one on top. Now, to fill this uh, uh, mana tablet, you have to use the mana pool to um, kind of absorb the mana and put it into the tablet. If you hold with my wand over this, you can see there is an icon at the bottom, which means right now it accepts or it moves from, from the mana tablet into the mana pool. We want the opposite, so we just shift right click and it turns it around. And we can dump it on there and it quickly <laughs> empties it because there was not a lot in there. This mana tablet can hold exactly as much as the the mana uh, pool, I believe. So if we hover over it now, you can see there's a little bit of mana inside. And I know it's really hard to see, but if you look at the uh, at the XP thing down there, uh, you can also see that there's a tiny bit, uh, tiny bit of mana. And yes, I cheated in some iron tough tools for my iron axe because I forgot to bring it over to this world. I think you can leave this actually in here and it will keep recharging. I don't think it despawns in there. I could be wrong though, but I'm gonna leave this in there for a while. Oh, by the way, I disabled the um, the config in agriculture 
uh, revolution that says that you cannot make uh, the vanilla food items anymore. Because when I was uh, playing with my brother to and we tried to make uh, bread, it was ridiculously difficult because you couldn't use the wheat recipe like this. It was disabled. So what, what you actually had to do is like make uh, this bread dough, which requires a ton of different things like butter, which you need to get from like a butter churn and then press it. Uh, you need sugar is easy, flour was from the wheat, which was easy, salt you can find, milk is easy, but then you also need to bread tin, which you needed uh, like this uh, pottery guide for, and then you make a mold, or as, first you make this unfired mold, then you cook it, then you make the tin mold, then you put it in a press with some iron and get a tin, a bread tin, and then you can make one whole bread <laughs> at once. So... It was a little bit tedious. It's kind of cool that it's doing this, where you have to do these extra steps. It's kind of neat, but uh, yeah, I didn't really feel doing that at the moment, to be honest. So I I turned the recipes on again, so we could just uh, just cook bread again. But let's see. Uh huh. See, now we have a little bit more on the XP bar there. I know it's hard to see, but if I hop over here, you can see a little bit more mana. You can just leave this in your inventory anywhere. And now it's uh, if I like take damage, like if I fall down here. Nothing got broken because the mana absorbed my damage or the the armor damage not my own damage Of course, I still get hurt <laughs> Downside of course is that we can't put our slime boots uh, together with the set and keep that 10% uh, less mana cost uh, You know bonus unfortunately, but uh, you know if you travel we can put on the, the boots and then switch it around Also the gogs of revealing you can actually combine these and make the mana steel helmet of revealing which is the same thing, but with your goggles inside, so we can actually still see our aura nodes and such around us. Very cool. All right, before we end the episode then, I would like to make some two worlds. So we need uh, five, seven maybe, I think, something like that. One for the sword. Uh, I might not use these two a lot, Tom, because we have this fancy pickaxe, right? So, I don't know, it might still give us, I mean, it will definitely give us more stuff, but um, I definitely gonna use the sword rather than an iron sword. I actually had the the Tinker's iron sword last time, right? But I I replaced it with a normal one because I didn't really like the Tinker's one. Um, the axe is pretty neat too. So we have an axe just for single blocks rather than using the three by three lumber axe. So it's always good to have. Uh, and a shovel, of course, of course, is nice because, like I said, it doesn't actually turn. It doesn't actually use up the durability as long as you have mana in your tablet. So if I mine, you can see the tool is not getting anything. Also another cool thing is that you can right click with this to like tilt soil. Go away. The pickaxe you right click to place torches. No matter where they are in your inventory I think. Uh, I think the sword is normal and the axe I think... I think it's normal too. I thought it might place some torches as well but nope. I don't think it does anything. Um, let's maybe put these on again. So we... I did get a bunch of more mana, so I can just dump this in here and fill it up a little bit. Quite a bit, actually. Um, yeah, should be good. And actually, one more thing. Let's get two mana diamonds and four mana steel. Oh, we don't have enough. Uh, it's no problem. We can turn this around again, so it takes mana from my tablet. I can just dump this in and then, you know, turn it around again and just fill it up. So that's no problem. So we have four of these. Uh, and then we need uh, four gold, I believe. Yep, okay. So I think it's something like this. Two diamonds. Yeah, this gives us mana pylons. Mana pylons are pretty awesome. So normally when you have an enchanting table, you need uh, uh, 15 books, I believe, to get a fully functional 30 level enchanting table. I guess I could put it over here, right? Um, with these mana crystals, you only need... Yeah, it's not a lot of room here, is there? <laughs> I don't want to... I guess I could do it like this. Uh, each mana crystal or mana pylon actually gives you or boosts the, uh, the enchanting table by 15 levels. So we, if we take some lapis now, should be able to get all the fancy uh, enchantments. Of course, we don't have enough levels, so I might go to the nether uh, for next episode and try to level up a little bit. Um, oh, I guess they have to be one spaced further away. I was kind of afraid of that. All right, just putting them over here then. Uh, so let's do this again. Let's put the third. Yeah, there you go. So we have the full 30 levels in here now. Elder Wisdom. That sounds crazy. Elder Wisdom 3. 
Aha. Uh -huh. So yeah, next time maybe uh, we can enchant some. That would be cool. You can see I did get a little bit of damage now on my on my pickaxe because I don't have my mana tablet on me. So as soon as you don't have mana, it does take durability. But we can just pick up my mana tablet and see it repaired itself. Cool. And we still have quite a bit of mana left. But yeah, guys, I think that will do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit uh, introduction to Botania. We're still gonna do quite a bit with this mod, I think. I was having a little bit of trouble to decide what item to use from which mod. Because, like, you know, at the same time, we could have done the armor from Thorncraft. Um, and it might be equally as good or even better. I don't know. So I might just go back and forth between some mods and their items and, you know, try them out a little bit. So you guys get to see them and I also get to experience them. Because I actually, you know, I never used the uh, the items here from Botania. So for me, also kind of a little bit new. Um, but yeah, and you can also see our day blooms are gone. They all died off already. So yeah. I'm gonna go produce more mana here with my endo flames, and uh, yeah, we'll see what we do next time. I don't know yet, but hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Bye bye.